Hey guys, it's Aaron with Shop Fix Academy and it is Saturday morning, right? Journey? This is my oldest journey. We're heading to the radio station to do the radio show. You gonna say hi? Hi. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to talk to everybody real quick about building a, fa uh, a family, a culture in your shop. If you can get your shop, whether you're running it and you're on site or you're off site, set up like a family and get it set up to where they are a team and they are tightly knit. And you've got the foreman and all the techs in the back supporting the manager or you the owner. And you've got everybody in the front supporting the foreman and the techs in the back. And there's trust there, like they believe what the technicians are telling them is wrong with their car. Then I'm telling you guys, you're gonna be unstoppable. You're gonna see your shop instantly grow. It's just gonna take off. But I've, I've helped so many shop owners where Basically, everybody needs to be fired because nobody in the front trusts the technicians and the technicians don't think the front can sell. And a lot of times it's true. They're both horrible. Front of the house and back of the house. And it doesn't mean that the whole group's bad. A lot of times it's two or three or one really negative person. But I'm telling you guys, sorry, we just ate breakfast, Chick-fil-A, it was great. But I'm telling you guys, you've got to make sure, you've got to make sure that you get that group together as a family. If you can get them tightly knit, it's just crazy how easy they follow you as the owner. And a lot of guys come into my shops and go, everybody's so happy, how come they get along? How come they're doing blah, blah, blah? And you go and you tell them something, you leave and they do it. What people don't get is I don't have that backbiting. Have I had that in shops? Absolutely. But we have systematically gone through and gone, yeah, that guy's really negative or that girl is not a good fit. And we just replace people. And just because they're talented doesn't mean that they belong in your team. So think about this, think about your team. Think about who you've got. You gotta have first your amazing manager, then you gotta have your amazing foreman, and get those two attached to the hip and agreeing with each other and liking each other. That's step one. After that, you build a team around them. All the technicians have to be built around them, all the advisors have to be uh, built around the manager, and you make sure that everybody's just on the same team. Now I'm having to get into some heavy traffic here, sorry, but make sure everybody's on the same team. If you do that, guys, it's gonna make a world of difference. It's gonna change everything. Sorry, I'm trying to cut in here. Uh, all right, and then everything will be easier for you to instruct, to push your guys in a certain direction. It won't be hard. And our exit's blocked off for construction this morning. Oh crap, there's a marathon. Well, I don't even know if we're gonna get to the radio station. All right guys, so work on that. Make sure you got a great team. Make sure you got the office staff in the back of the house agreeing and connected. You can do that, you're gonna change everything. All right guys, we'll see you in the next video, bye.